Hello and welcome. We need some freaking music for this. Hello and welcome to another adventure. Your Queen's Wish, the Conqueror. Alright, we're done here. Let's see. What are we doing now? Where is our quest? Busier now. Great port has been retaken. Let's see here. All right. So, anyways, yeah, we took him out. We retook the great port. Oops, sorry, I gotta readjust in my chair here. Let's see here. Ah, uh, da da da. da, da. Yeah. Things. Oh, sweet. So it looks like we get to uh, build a, like a fort or a base or something like that. You were not able to do this in the old Avernum games or the old uh, other, s well, I mean, maybe if you got way late in the game, maybe you were able to do a fort or something like that. I didn't get to late game. I got pretty far into the Avernum uh, games that I did play, which was, I think, Crystals, Crystal Souls, and then Escape from the Pit, and then Five, which I can't remember the name of Five, but I got pretty far in those, like 12, 13, 14 hours into them, which I guess is not that far, but I was only playing for a little bit at a time, so. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Select these stone markers to rebuild buildings and stalls. You will need workshops to equip your character. To place them, you will need buildings. Oh, sweet. Oh, so we're gonna be building some shit. Awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, you were definitely not able to do this. I'm digging this shit. Yeah, let's build this shit. So now what? What the fuck do I do? That's pretty fucking cool. Can I do this one too? Boom, motherfucker! What about this one? Oh. Okay, well, let's see what Miranda says. So yeah, um... Anyways, in the old Avernum games, or I keep on saying the old Avernum games, I'm just using that as the primary example, because uh, Gene Forge is pretty close. I don't want to say they were exactly the same game, because they're not. But they have very similar graphics and sim similar uh, interfaces and all that, mechanics. But um, you get to... In uh, Gene Forge, you create like uh, and upgrade these basically like pets that you have that you uh, can use in battle and fight with and stuff like that. And, uh, a bunch of other stuff. I didn't get as far in the Gene Forge series as I got into Avernum, but so far, this is pretty fucking cool. So let's see. Um, built with blacksmiths, weavers, woodworkers, even brewers. The more we have, the more money. So, how do we replace our lost shop? Okay. Alright, so I got more resources. To buy a building, we click the house button here. First, you need to buy it. You really need a blacksmith and an apothecary. First, buy building button. So let's click the buy buildings. Let's get a smithy and a apothecary. Apothecary, I mean. I like that noise. Die, motherfucker! has a message. What 
Okay. Uh, okay. So this guy, apparently our butler Stonehouse, can update us on how our family and whatnot are um, feeling about us and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's see here. Uh, get to close the portal and touch it, and our mom. Hello, mother. I am here. Hmm. No prince, I said already. No, oh, I didn't want to say that one anyways. Okay. One more thing. Okay, so maybe this will uh, bring us some like new quests or some stuff like that in the future. Um, quest, etc. Uh, quest and more quest. No, I'm, I'm, it'll, it'll obviously do something, so we'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Um, now, where do we put these buildings? Like, how do I... How do I actually, like, put it? Place buildings and shops. Okay, I thought... Uh, Alright, so we gotta touch them right now. Okay, final thing to do is stay where they will be built. Your trials are almost complete. Go to the building or stall you built, and you can also place a you know, rebuild smithing, blah blah blah. I'm reading this terribly right now. Okay. Oh, cool. So we can decorate, we can do all that kind of fun stuff here. Okay, that's awesome. So we'll go to that button, like I was thinking before, and we'll run out to these places and pop down these buildings. This is super cool. Um... Oh, so I gotta go on the side, I think. Um... You know what this kind of reminds me of? is there's this old um a old uh oop, i should have put that near the wall there but there's an old uh playstation game i used to play called sakodin and you would get like this tower and you'd recruit these people throughout the game you, it was basically an rpg you know uh think of like final fantasy style combat and stuff like that and uh you know, you level up all that fun stuff, and you get these runes and stuff that'll give you different abilities, and you can get basically like 108 different people that you can switch out of your, uh, switch out and use basically all of them as teammates. You can do basically anything with all of them, you know? Use them as teammates, and, um, yeah, so you build this base, and the more people that you get, the bigger the base is. It's pretty cool. But I like the, the idea that I'm actually able to place this stuff in here, so... Let's see here, augments and runes, which I believe I already have one. Okay. Dead eye ring, go into your smithies and attach this to a weapon and helmet, so 5% hit chance, 5 per case. So we got a dead eye. We will install it in our leather armor. Oh, hold on. Healing augment. Cool. Boom. So those are obviously pretty fucking cool. And this she's got a slot on this one too. Oh, so we're gonna want to drop this into her thing. Ah. Wow. Wow. There was my menu here. Okay. Drop it in her pocky. Talk to this lady. Place it on her thingy. Oop, oop. Ah, so we're gonna put this on weapons and helmets. And this one does have one though. Boom shaka shlaka shlaka. And there's our augmentation right there. Plus five to hit chance. That is fucking cool. I like that. Alright, let's see what she's got here. So, uh, we have an iron shore blade. 
Um, I'm assuming that this is damage, I think. Nine damage there. Uh, spend 30. I will take it. I will sell that. I want to sell something now. Almost sold the fucking rapier. Rapier, rapier. Boom, boom. Boom. Look at them. What the fuck? What? Hold on. This should allow you to go back. Boom, there we go. So now. Cool. Alright, I'm pretty sure this gives us some more damage, y'all. And actually, we should probably see if we can get some, uh, new armor or something. Ooh, an arcane weapon. Very cool. I don't know when we can get that shit. Let's see. Tier 3 arcane gear. Oh, so we gotta get more magic skills. Alright, so we can't do that yet. Let's see what armor we got. He's already got that healer. Ooh, boy, that's pretty fucking sweet. Hmm. We'll get this guy that armor, I think. Now that guy's got some badass shit. That's all this crap. And that one also has an empty slot, too. So, we can, uh... We can beef that up a little bit. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, so we have checked out our blacksmith. Let's see the uh, weirdly placed apothecary. And see what this person got to sell. I think they probably got potions and stuff like that. Ooh, I want to make runes. What does the strength rune do? Uh, one to physical damage, one to magical damage. Let's get a shock rune. Ooh. Do we want the magical? Let's do this one just so we don't blow up. Okay, apparently I bought two of these, so, um... That's sweet, so we can make augments and those runes. And uh, that kind of blows, because I think only one of my weapons has a, uh, A slot. But, that's okay. Cool, so now he's going to get one physical damage on that. And maybe... She might actually have... Nope. And already has one in there. Alright, so I guess we have this right now. Maybe I can sell that. And make basic ass shit. But we'll just keep it, you know? <sighs> Alright, well, I don't have a place to really put that one, so it looks like I'm just gonna hold on to it. Maybe she'll buy it for more money. Sometimes they do that. I like that, uh... Oop. I like that when they... Ooh, what the fuck? We got this badass shit here, too. Physical armor, bleed resist, poison resist, blessing duration, and healing bonus. But I don't have that much gold right now. But I can, uh, ask for some cottons. Where the fuck did I get that? Alright, so we got that. Uh, oh shit. Okay, we got that speed and spell that I'll put over there for a while. Uh, oh, she has this, uh, call bone, so she can summon a skeleton. I did not know that. And I don't know why I'm putting all this stuff over there. Let me get rid of this. Oh, that's cool. So if you right-click on these, it'll just erase it. Which is handy. Not too much thinking required. Um, I should probably ask Miranda what to do now, because she's been giving me these missions. We're actually going to increase our uh, scrolling speed a little bit. And there we go. So far, I'm really digging this game. Um, yeah. All right, that's that. Got the plans, already placed the shops. Miranda, come on. 
Okay. Uh, let me see here. Okay, cool. So now she's gonna give us some missions here. Alright, uh, Ukutash Ahriel. Uh, I think that one sounds kind of cool. So we're gonna do the second one on there. Tamely to the northeast. They stopped communicating with us some months ago. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna go to Tamely then. And I guess maybe we can, if we just fight anything there, uh, you know what I mean? We'll just level up regardless. But, uh, I'm gonna leave town, and then I'm gonna head back into town and see if we can heal ourselves here. We will... Oh. Uh, there we go. Quick save, F3. So this is great port. Let's go see what's over going on over here. So this is, uh, one of the, my favorite parts of, um... Spiderweb or Jeff Vogel's games, like their world maps are insane. There's just a lot to explore, and usually, I mean, you could sit here for days and probably look around and just still keep finding new stuff. And then there'll be stuff you find around here that you have to come back to way later in the game that you don't that don't make sense now, you know. Let's see here, and just stuff like this, it's great. You know, just little tiny things, bizarre trees. Hmm. Strange and hostile magic. The mayor of Tainley. Something in the mines. Alright, so people are going nuts, apparently in Tainly. That ain't good. What's this what's this monstrosity here? A survey marker. Let's see, uh, look around for a viewpoint. Let's see so you see the all real woods to the east and yeah, northwest we can barely make out the Utah Swamp. So I don't see any cool perspective, but whatever. I thought there might be like a picture or like a landscape kind of portrait of what we're seeing, but I've never seen that in any of these games, but it doesn't need it. Okay, so the village of Tainley is a modest mining village. Extracting mercury out of the ground. Oh, she gets just, oh, we get distracted as we get close to town. What is going on here? Poisonous blobs on the ground. Alright, I'm assuming that these people are fucking wild motherfuckers here. Uh oh. Alright, so something apparently might be controlling these people here. Interesting. So it looks like we are, uh, we are, let's see here, alright, so yeah, we're getting messed up the closer to the mines. on the ground. I don't know if there is anything on the ground in this one. Ooh. You got it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to equip that. Let's see here. Our eye is not Where is our boy on you? 
Slimes. So these guys aren't too hard. And I'm assuming they're gonna get us uh, poison like when they hit us. Uh, so we'll see. I think I'll die. Looks like we're rich now. I'll save here. Alright. So I don't know if we'll pick up anything. I don't see anything on the corridor. But I like to explore the entire area before I move forward. Most of the time, I don't always do it. See how basic this is, but now the combat's basic, okay? Right now. But the, it gets advanced, and it's all just pure tactics. Everything does its part, and I don't want to say it's like... I, I hate saying the word basic for this, because it, it gets really complicated. And the AI in this game, for what it is, is actually pretty freaking smart. Like, it, it'll fuck you up, you know? Which I respect that. I've been destroyed many a time in the other, uh, the other spiderweb games, so... Um, as you get your levels progress and stuff, you know, you get more spells and stuff to use, and, you know, the uh, elements change. This one's a big bad boy. Big bad boy. But, I don't think this one will be too hard. Alright, so he is going to use this badass little spell, or not spell here, but whatever the hell it is. Let's see here. Alright, so spreading slime, these are like replicant slimes that break up the main slimes. Not too bad. And boom. We are safe again. Let's save again. Alright. Now we're actually got some crazy people we're fighting now. Like this stuff is like mercury. It's basically making everybody go insane and know why. But it's you know obviously a toxic metal. So now, oh, it looks like my kids are awake. All right, well, we're gonna do this one as a short video here. Finish the slime in this mad archer here, and I'm gonna have to interlude and get the kids going for the day. But this mad archer can take it right now. Die. Boom, there we go. Alright, well we will continue later on with this dungeon here and uh, clear it out and figure out what's making these bad boys go insane. If you like what you're seeing, uh, leave it in the comments, give me a like, and subscribe below. And uh, if you have any suggestions or... Uh, any other games you'd want to see me play, let me know in the comments below as well. But until next time, which will be soon after the kids are situated this time.
I bid you adieu.